Often, it is necessary to separate mixtures. One of the major differences between mixtures and compounds is that mixtures can be separated physically, while compounds can only be separated by chemical reactions. For instance, polluted water needs to be filtered before it can be used again. Water treatment plants have a variety of filters and settling tanks used for removing various substances from the water. Here, polluted water trickles over a filter of rocks and pebbles containing living bacteria that eat many of the suspended particles in the polluted water. A variety of filters are used in automobiles to remove particulates from the oil, gas, and air that are essential to the operation of internal combustion engines. Some materials can be separated from the mixture by using a magnet. Magnet separation methods are used in solid waste recycling plants where iron cans are separated from aluminum cans and other non-metallic materials on their way through the recycling process. The dissolved and suspended impurities of water can be removed through the process of distillation. Water is distilled by evaporating it, usually by boiling. The heated water is allowed to cool and condense into another container. The dissolved and suspended impurities are left behind in this process, leaving pure water in the other container. Crude oil is also turned into a variety of fuels through the process of distillation. Different hydrocarbons in the crude oil have different boiling points. For example, jet fuel has a much lower boiling point than asphalt. The distillation process also removes any mineral or other impurities from the crude oil pumped from the earth. Mixtures are all around us. The air we breathe, the water we drink, a variety of products we use, and the trash we create are all examples of mixtures. By understanding mixtures and their physical properties, we have come to understand an important part of how the world works.